Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite projects ever. This project is about installing the NVIDIA driver on Arch Linux. Took me some time to make this video uh, because I wanted to gather all the information and understand like everything around this script, even if I've been using it for more than a year now. And listen to me, you won't be disappointed. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. The man behind this project is TKG, the creator of the Frogging family and the dev, famous dev, who worked with Valve and helped the gaming Linux world to become what it is right now. I'm not mashing my words there because I really like his work and I do believe is, is one of the best devs out there for the community. After putting that out of the way, I'm going to explain you what this script is really all, all about. So obviously, it's for installing the NVIDIA driver, so you will need a graphic card from NVIDIA. The other requirement, I would say, is that this script is only available on Arch. So if you use any other distro, well, you won't be able to use it. I'd rather like tell you that at the beginning of the video rather than you like trying to install it on your distro, you need art to enjoy this piece of art. So why do I think this script is, is one of the best ever? Well, I own a 1490 RTX. I really love this graphic card. I will never exchange it to anything else. But on Linux, I would say the experience, depending on the distro, is not exactly the same. And I don't know if you had the opportunity to watch some of my previous challenges, uh, this driver and this card has been sometimes the source of a lot of like uh, little issues that kind of like tap on my nerve. The good news is that if you are running Arch and you know this script, everything is going to become so smooth, it's actually disgusting. So what, what is this script is actually doing? So it's going to install your, the driver, but it's going to give you, I would say, a lot of tools which are going to give you a crazy advantage towards everything that already exists, even what is already happening on Arch right now. So as you noticed in my previous video where I show you how to install Arch with Arch install, uh, the installation of the driver was pretty smooth, as you can see. This is my uh, fresh install here. My graphic card is recognized. E everything is working well. However, my choice in terms of driver are pretty limited. And this script really gives a lot of modularity. And this is where it shines, because I, wi I will give you an example after of, of a full installation. But you're going to have the opportunity to choose whatever version of driver you want. All of them. So let's say you are in a position, for example, like what happened with Starfield, and you have to downgrade your driver, and you don't want to upgrade each time there is a new version of drive driver getting pushed through the harsh repo. Well, with this script, it's going to lock you in. So you have this modularity of like just entering the, the, the script, installing the version of driver you need, and you're going to get there and you won't have to deal with the driver ever. It's done. You are running on those driver. The day you want to try a new one, no problem. You rerun the screen, but you don't depend on all those upgrades. The second advantage I would say is that this script, when it comes to like new release of driver, is always ahead of the curve compared to the release of Arch. And I, I'm not even talking about the other distribution, but like you're going to be like months, week, days, always ahead if you want to try the latest driver. For me and what I'm trying to do here, like making video for you guys and testing the new, dri like new driver, the new functionality, this is a godsend. I can install every driver, like all of them. So this is uh, really cool. The third point, that make this script really different is the fact that it comes with a lot of patches. And sometimes some of the release drivers, they won't be totally compatible with the kernel you are using. 
So let's say you want to use the old version of driver, again, for example, because of Starfield or any other game which are just working with a previous version of the driver, but you still want to have a kernel which is up to date, you might be sometime in a position where it just won't work. Well, guess what? There is a ton of patches in this script to make sure that everything goes smooth all the time. So you don't have to be worried about that. You just choose your kernel, you choose your driver, you're good to go. The fourth point which makes this script really insane is the fact that you're going to have access to driver, NVIDIA driver, you never heard about. I'm not kidding. You never heard about them. Like, let me know in the comment below if you heard about the Vulkan beta developer driver. Yes, you, you heard me really well. So you see here, this is the official page of NVIDIA for the uh, Linux driver. You have the production branch version here. You have the new feature branch version. You have the latest beta version. But you know what you are missing? You are missing the NVIDIA developer Vulkan driver. The latest one, the 535.43.20. For example, uh, the latest release was the 8 December. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you guys. 8 December 2023 here. So like four days ago. And guess what? You want to install them? No problem. I'm going to show you how because of this script. Finger in the nose. And the fifth point that makes this script really awesome is for also the old GPU. So let's say you have a Serie 970, you know, like Serie 900 or a Serie 1000. And you are now in this position where you want to install like really, really old driver on Arch, but you just can't because even the Arch repos are not supporting them anymore. Well, guess what? With this script, you're going to be able to install them. No problem. And all the patches, like I mentioned uh, at the, the point uh, number four or three, well, they're going to be there. Everything is going to be working right off the bat. So let me tell you, I'm not overselling it. This script is awesome. Like, I, I don't know how to tell it to you guys. I love TKG. I love his work. This is the, the, the beast. And also for all the AMD users, I have something for you. Like, uh, don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna I'm gonna push a little video about uh, some nice script for you to to enjoy. All right. So enough talking. As I say, uh, sometime a good demonstration is better than a, a long talk. But you kind of understand like why you would like to install this script. You have to go on the Frogging Family slash Nvidia dash all um, GitHub uh, rep repo. Uh, from TKG, and uh, you're gonna have to do only uh, one command line here. So I'm gonna copy it here, and I'm gonna go through the script, explain you in detail every option like that. You, you won't get lost. I'm gonna copy and paste the command here. I hope you, yeah, you should be seeing that really, really well. And we're, we're gonna get into it. So, boom, you press enter, you download everything, and the first thing you're gonna go through is which version of the driver do you want. So as mentioned before, you can see here, uh, maybe I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Here we go. So you can see here that you can choose the Vulkan one. You can choose the 545 series, the 535 series, or the older series, or you can go crazy and go with a custom version. You can choose everything. So just for the science, I'm, I'm going to show you the custom version. So I'm going to, I'm going to take those one. Uh, the latest one is 535 for free uh, dot two zero. So let me check. So yeah, they, they are already up to date there. But let's say I want to install this version here because that's the one I want. And here, what I'm going to do, obviously, if you are good with the Vulkan dev, the 545 series or whatever series you want, you can choose them. I don't want to explain all the difference between all the drivers, but I would say most of the time you want to go with uh, the latest a branch feature, so the 545, or you want to go uh, with the Vulkan dev. My recommendation towards the number is really relative to your needs and what you try to achieve. If you go really like inside any type of beta branch, make sure you monitor your temperature and your fan because we never know. I've seen a lot of like graphic card, whether they are AMD or NVIDIA, getting totally burned because people try those 
fancy new driver which are not ready for production and they just burn their card. So I will still be really careful. That would be Morocco for that. So I'm going to go custom, okay? So I'm going to tap seven here. And the branch I was looking for was a Vulcan Dev. Enter. And then you see you can type the desired version number. So here I'm going to type 535.43.9. Again, this is just for, you know, the example overall of what you can achieve. Most of the users, they will go with a Vulcan Dev here and end of the story. And you just go through it. But I want to show you like the complicated, like crazy case. So I enter here. How do you want to build the package, like the DKMS one or the regular one? So here, it's recommended to go for DKMS. There is specific case where you want a regular, but those, those specific cases are less and less current. They are like more and more specific. So I will say always go with a DKMS. So you go DKMS, press one. Then it's going to ask you specific question. Open source kernel module available. It only offers support for Turing and newer and doesn't offer all the features of the proprietary one. So for example, SLI, SLI, G-Sync on notebooks and virtual GPU support are notably missing. So the way this works is like you're still going to have, you're going to have one part of the driver which is going to be open source, but you still are going to have one part of the driver which is going to be closed source. So my recommendation here is to keep it with a proprietary one. In terms of like pure performance, it's going to be the same. What also you need to understand is that some of the driver release will never support uh, what they call here uh, the open source kernel module. It's not guaranteed that all the release of NVIDIA driver will provide this. So you might put yourself in a position where like, oh yeah, I want to go open source, but they won't be available and it won't, it will just not work. So here, my recommendation, you go uh, proprietary. And something else I want to mention here is that those drivers, which I would call like semi open source, they have nothing to do with the NVK driver, which are actually in development, active development, I would say for Mesa. It's totally different, okay? So if you go open source here, you're just going with a semi-proprietary, that's all. I know I'm repeating myself, but I want to make everything clear because some of you guys, I'm pretty sure, are going to be like, oh, yes, this is how to install the NVK driver. No, it's not. Okay, so uh, here we're going to say no. So now what it's going to do is going to download the driver and it's going to apply all the patch and it's going to install them on your system. And you will see it's so smooth. I don't even remember if I have some question to answer there, but it's going to go like straight to the point. Also, something really important, you don't need to uninstall the driver you actually have installed on your machine. So as you see, I'm, I'm, I was, and I'm still running like the NVIDIA driver from the official repo from Arch. I just run the script and I'm good to go. So here I'm going to type my crazy password and here it's going to ask me, this is really important, if I want to remove the old NVIDIA DKMS. And you see the name of the packages are different. They have obviously the dev, because this is a dev driver, the dev branch I choose, but also they include TKG. So when you're going to make any type of upgrade, you won't have to deal with them anymore. They're going to be locked in your system, which is awesome. Really awesome. If I word it differently, if NVIDIA release driver which are going to break some of the game you enjoy, well, you don't care because you still have the drivers that make those games work. Get the idea? <laughs> so remove NV NVIDIA DKMS, yes. So here I'm going to remove all the previous driver and enforce the NVIDIA from TKG. And as you can see, boom, we're going to we're gonna get all of them. Easy, Papa. So here I press yes. And here we go. Install finished, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, think about it. So just to make a point, I'm going to restart and I'm going to show you if it works. So we'll see you in a bit. All right. So we are back. Uh, let's see how it look. And boom. 
of the latest beta Vulcan driver, dude. Easy as that. Actually, it's not even the latest one. It's the one I wanted. Like, this is just awesome, guys. So if I want to, you know, um, install the latest one, well, I just go back there and I go through the whole install. You get the idea, right? But this is just, for me, one of the best scripts ever. This script helped me so much when I was doing some testing and some video. You have no idea. So, yeah, I think I cover it all. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Like, if you have the chance to run an Arch machine with NVIDIA and you have the opportunity to, to try this beast, like, I would really love to know what is your feedback. Uh, but I, I don't think the experience is going to be uh, really different from mine. It's kind of like transforming a, a hell of an install of NVIDIA driver into the smoothest install ever. Like, ever. This is so cool. So, yeah. I guess uh, I covered everything here. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thanks for all the supporters. Uh, guys, thank you very much. You have no idea how much it helps. So, thank you again. See you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.